To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar. Welcome to Simplify Your Space. The kitchen is a place where we spend a significant amount of time every day. To streamline our kitchen routine, we rely on various appliances. Among these, one appliance that has quickly become my favorite is the air fryer. This versatile tool allows you to prepare numerous recipes with little or no oil. However, its capabilities extend far beyond just frying. It offers several features that can greatly assist in your everyday cooking. So in today's video, let's explore some highly useful air fryer hacks and recipes. Brinjal bharta is my favorite, but I don't like roasting the brinjal on the stove. It needs attention while roasting and makes the stove very dirty, which is hard to clean. So I prefer to use an air fryer instead. Make a few cuts on the brinjal and insert a few garlic cloves. Now just rub some oil on the brinjal and air fry at 200 celsius for 10 minutes. After one side is cooked, flip it and fry the other side. The brinjal gets roasted nicely. Now just peel it and mash the soft part. Now make brinjal bharta as per your liking. I fry onions, add spices like turmeric, coriander powder and red chilli powder with some salt, then tomatoes and the mashed brinjal. Then I mix it, cover and cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. It's really tasty with methi paratha and raita. Let's try making potato bean sabzi. First, I have taken a silicon liner and added chopped potatoes and beans. I season them with salt, turmeric powder, red chilli powder and cumin and add a bit of oil. Then I mix everything well and put it in the air fryer. I set it at 180 degrees for 14 minutes or you can use the french fries preset. Halfway through, open the air fryer to stir the vegetables for even cooking. And there you have it, a delicious potato and beans dish ready to enjoy. I also made bhindi bhujia in a similar way. First, I added chopped okra or bhindi, a little oil and some spices, then air fried it for 5 minutes. After that, I stirred it and added sliced onions and air fried for another 15 minutes. The bhindi bhujia was ready quickly. Normally bhindi bhujia needs lot of oil to cook when making in kadhai. But in an air fryer you can make it with much less oil. Similarly, I prepared potato and cauliflower sabzi. I air fried the potatoes and cauliflowers. While they were cooking, I quickly made the tadka with tomatoes and spices. After air frying, I added the potato and cauliflower to the tadka, mixed well, 
covered and cooked for just 5 minutes. The dish was ready quickly with very little oil. Now let us see some daily tasks which can be done quickly and easily with the help of air fryer. If you are making poha or peanut chutney, you can quickly fry peanuts in the air fryer in just 5 minutes. If you want to add potatoes to your poha, cut them into small pieces and air fry them. While you prepare the poha, the potatoes will fry perfectly. Then just add these potatoes and peanuts to the poha. Your breakfast will be ready in no time. If you're in a rush and need a quick breakfast, you can make egg fry and toast in the air fryer. Break an egg into each silicone muffin liner. Then place eggs along with two bread slices in the air fryer and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. Your egg and toast will be ready in no time. Perfect for quick and easy breakfast. For biryani, if you need crispy onions, you don't have to deep fry them. Just take thinly sliced onions, add a little oil, mix well and air fry for 10 minutes. You will get perfectly caramelized onions without the need for deep frying. If you prefer using homemade chili powder, you can easily roast the chilies in an air fryer. Just air fry them for 3 to 4 minutes and you will see how crispy they become. Then simply grind them into powder. You will have excellent freshly made chili powder in no time. Now let's look at some handy hacks. Sometimes when we buy packets of makhana or fox nuts, they tend to become soggy and chewy once opened. To revive their crispiness, just air fry them for 3 to 4 minutes and they will become crispy again. If you have ever made pakoras or samosas at home and had leftovers, you will notice they become soft quickly and don't taste as good. To solve this, whenever you want to enjoy them again, just air fry them for 3 to 4 minutes. They will become very crispy and delicious again. Stuffed parathas are delicious when hot, but they lose their taste as they cool. To make them crispy again, air fry them for a while. You can use the same method to make leftover pizza slice crispy again. Whenever you want to restore the crispiness to any food, avoid microwaving it. Air frying is the key to bringing back that crunch. Similarly, if your rusks and biscuits have become soggy, you can make them crispy again by air frying for just 3 to 4 minutes. Now let's explore some great air fryer recipes, starting with the children's favorite, crispy corns. You will need corn kernels for this. Add 2 tablespoons of flour and 1 tablespoon of corn flour to the 1 cup of corns. Then season with some pizza seasoning, salt, black pepper and a bit of oil. Mix everything well. If needed, you can add a little water to ensure the coating sticks properly to the corns. Now just air fry at 180 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Remember to open it once midway and give it a stir. You will see how deliciously crispy corns are made with very little oil.
Now let's make my favorite childhood snack bread rolls in air fryer. First, mash some boiled potatoes. Mix in chopped onions, green chilies and coriander leaves. Season with salt, chaat masala and a bit of red chili powder. Mix everything well then take small portions in hand and give them cylindrical shape. Next, take some bread slices and trim their crust off. Dip the bread in cold water to moisten, then wrap it around the potato mix. Brush the rolls with oil and cook in an air fryer for 8 to 10 minutes. Enjoy these crispy delicious bread rolls without deep frying. Now let's make Bihar's famous litti chokha in the air fryer which is traditionally cooked over a chula. To make litti, take some wheat flour and some oil and ajwain and knead it into a slightly stiff dough. For the filling, we use sattu, roasted gram flour. To this, add chopped onions, kalonji, pickle masala, chili powder, salt and lemon juice. Also add some mustard oil. To ensure a good mix, you can add 1-2 to two spoons of water. Now make small pedas from the dough and stuff them with this filling. Place the litties in the air fryer brush with some oil. Brush some ghee over the top. Air fry at 160 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. You will see how wonderfully the litties are prepared in the air fryer. And that's all about today's video. I hope you enjoyed these air frying hacks and recipes. If you are looking to save time in the kitchen, air fry can be a big help. We have made plenty of videos on air fryers. If you are curious about how an air fryer works and which one would be the best for your kitchen, you can find related videos in the description box. See you next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye bye.